Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Bion for Byte. And in this particular course, I will be teaching NGS data analysis. So starting with the first lesson, genomic files format. Like uh, generally while working on different computational data or NGS data, we encounter with different files format that is like either FastQ, FASTA, BAM, SAM or VCF. So we will start covering one by one. So let's get started with the FASTQ. So fast key sequence file format. So uh, we will see like uh, what informations are present in these files and how we can see these data like fast queued files and where, like basically uh, like when while working on genomics data we generally encounter some common file format uh, like FASTA and fast queue. So starting with the FASTA. So FASTA, so this is universally accepted format for the DNA and protein sequences and this is how the FASTA file looks like. So this is an example for the nucleotide sequence having the nucleotide basis ATGC and this is an example for amino acid sequence for protein. And this particular FASTA file is divided into two. So the first line is basically describing the header part and starting from the second line is uh, giving information for the sequence. Same we can see for in the case of protein sequence, the first line is the header part and from the second line it is the amino acid sequence for a protein. And the first uh, is basically a text based format which represents the DNA sequence or a protein sequence. So in the FASTA format, uh, this is universally accepted format. So it is text based file format and we can open the file in any text editor like notepad, word, textpad, etc. And the file, this FASTA file is used to store both nucleic acid or amino acid sequences. And in this particular example, we can see like a sequence in FASTA format begins with uh, one single line identifier description. So, and this identifier description always start with the greater than symbol. So, this is the greater than symbol and this particular part NC041788.1. This is an identifier for a sequence. And there will be no space between greater than symbol and this first identifier of a sequence. And after this identifier, there will be one space or tab between identifier and the description. This description is optional. So right now for this particular example, this is description is telling like this is the sequence, faster sequence of, I'm just showing uh, some of the sequences, uh, nucleotide sequence for plasmodium malaria. And this is sequence is for, belongs to chromosome 14. And then the second part is uh, like uh, this is, greater than symbol and having the identifier and the rest part is starting from the plasmodium till chromosome 14 is the description part and this FASTA file can contain multiple sequence and each sequence will follow the same format like having the header part and then the sequence and the, uh, some of the examples uh, of used file extension of FASTA are like dot FASTA, dot FA, dot FNA, and dot FAA. Dot FNA is like a for uh, nucleic acid, and FAA is basically for the file format for amino acid. Now coming to the FASTQ genomic file format. So the input files are in FASTQ format for most of the workflows in computational genomics and NGS data analysis. And it is also a text-based sequencing data file format which store both raw sequence data and the quality scores. FASTA only store the sequence data but FASTQ because it has the Q in the symbol it means like having the quality also in the data. So it stores both raw sequence data and the quality scores. The third point which is important here is that not always the FASTQ files are the direct product of sequencers or sequences because many have the PCR file format which we generally call as intermediate representation of the reads. What does it mean? Like most of the sequencers like example NexSeq, HiSeq and NovaSeq 
they generally generate the raw data in the format of BCL. BCL is basically called binary base call. The full form of BCL is binary base call, which is an intermediate representation of the reads. And we have to convert this BCL to fast queue format. And to convert this BCL to fast queue, we generally use a software called Illumina BCL2 FastQ2 software to convert the BCL files into FastQ files. And this is a FastQ sequence. And FastQ basically consists of four line record, first line, second line, third line, and fourth line. So what exactly these four lines are? So first line is basically a sequence identifier, which having the information about the sequencing run and all the clusters. And the second one is the sequence, uh, ATGC sequence and nucleotide. And the third one plus symbol is basically separator. And the fourth line, which is basically a quality score for each of the nucleotide base. Coming to the first line, the sequence identifier. So we can see here an example, like what exactly each subtype, subterm is for. So we have divided like uh, the first key file starts with add the red symbol for the header part and then we have the sequence then we have in the third line separator and the fourth line quality score so in the first line after add the rate uh, what we see before the colon part is basically unique instrument name in the b part after colon we this is like a run id and this is the flow cell id flow cell name and this is the tile number within the flow cell and then we have the x and y coordinates and then we follow the paired end or made pair reads only and other information so and so so these are the information for the sequence header for the first few file now coming to the fed quality score so in the fourth line we have seen this is the fed quality score for each nucleotide base so what exactly this fred quality score means so fred quality score means like uh, basically this is a representation like how we are confident to say like the base quality is correct or the base calling is correct so the formula for calculating this base quality fred quality we generally call is q equal to minus 10 log e e is the error probability so for example if the Fred's quality score Q value is 30. It means when you calculate, so it means like the probability of error or incorrect base call will be 1 by 1000, that is 0.1%. The probability like means like uh, the base call will be incorrect will be 0.1% and the accuracy will be 1 minus error part, that is 99.9% means we can say that when the fed quality score 30 is assigned to a nucleotide base so we are confident that like 99.9 percent it is accurate and there will be chance of a wrong uh, nucleotide base will be 0.1 percent so this is a table we can see like what exactly the fed quality score 10 value indicates the percentage of error if the fed quality score is 10 so the probability of getting an error is 10%. It means like out of 10 nucleotides, there will be chance of getting or calling a base, incorrect base is one. And the accuracy will be 90%. Same if Fred quality score is 20, it means that out of 100 nucleotide base, there will be a probability of one base calling will be incorrect. That is 1% error. And the accuracy percent is 99%. So the recommended Fred quality score is 20 or more than 20. It means like accuracy will be 99%. Now coming to this graphical representation of this Fred scores. So here you can see on the Y axis, this is the probability and on the X axis, this is the Fred score. And there is a two color graph like showing this blue one is showing the accuracy part and this red one showing the error part so you can see as we increase the fed quality score like 20 30 40 
so the error probability of getting an error is like less and accuracy probability is increasing so that's why it is recommended that like uh, the fret quality score 20 and more than 20 is good so we can say that the sequencing is good now coming to the fastq file name so fastq file come as either a single file or a pair of file based on the sequencing like whether it is single end or pair end sequencing so if it is single end sequencing so we will have only one fastq file when it is pair end sequencing we will have two fastq files r1 and r2 so the name convention for single end sequencing fastq files are like it's a simple like sample dot fastq so this will be the name of the fastq file when we have parent sequencing then we will have two fastq files r1 and r2 and the name convention will be sample dot r1 dot fastq and sample dot r2 dot fastq r1 stands for read one and r2 stands for read two it means like for a single read there is sequencing is done from both the sides so that's why we have two reads r1 and r2 for a pair of frag single fragments and in parent sequencing it is important to note that each of the first few files lists their reads in the same order in both the files what it means it means like when we are using this r1 and r2 files in downstream analysis means when we are pairing and when we do this alignment part so if a single read is missing in any of the file either in r1 or r2 it will create an issue in pairing step so to do this validation check like whether every single read is there and they are in the same order in both r1 and r2 files so to find out the formatting errors in single end or parent fastq files we can use a package or we can say a command line tool that is called fqlib so you can read more about uh, on this on a github uh, this is a link you can go and check out i will also attach the link in this description in this particular lesson and this uh, particular fq library is used to generate and validate the fastq file pairs whether the, the both the r1 and r2 files having the reads in the same order or not Thank you and please like and subscribe my channel to learn this NGS data analysis course.